Hello. This is Carolina Ramirez, assistant principal at Tesla High School, and I am happy to say as you missed Kiara's final Border Collie call of the year. This is the final update of the year. Here is what's happening and what previously happened. So far, our yearbook is completely obsolete. Such as the fall sports teams, but we forgot to add the JROTC page and had to select 35 people to the band, chorus, and orchestra at random due to the pandemic. This yearbook is all done finally. We still have one more paint night left. And tomorrow will be our final one of the school year. And to wrap things up, our Shredder Bees interns will be leaving at 12.30. Even though this is a half day, they will be dismissed by the bell for homeroom. We have two half days to wrap up the year, one on June 17th and another on June 18th. We will have bag lunches for students to pick up when they are dismissed at 1.20. Shredder Bees interns will make arrangements to go home after that time as well. Our first principal, Bill Gates, will visit our school for the final time at 11 o'clock. Graduation supply pickups will be held on our campus during all lunches and border collie hour and are also available for pickup at the Couture Cafe at any time. We had seven buses being late and taken home on different buses from different portions of the district and returning to school from their regular afternoon routes. This caused a commotion for special needs students as well. We do apologize for that today. We had Secretary Faith Hill call the transportation office for the district and get alternate buses for buses 116, 264, 405, 414, 762, and 1565. Special needs students were taken home by their parents, their grandparents, and even their guardians. Last week Lisa had sent us an email saying not to dismiss Shredder Bees interns at the end of third period because they are moving to a bigger office downstairs on the first floor of the Jersey City office building. Graduation practice is here on June 23rd, and graduation is at June 24th at the Olivia de Havilland Performing Arts Center at Tailslandian Riverside Park in downtown Chaseville. Everyone is encouraged to see your child walk the stage. And that concludes my final update of the 2020-2021 school year. In case you didn't notice, Karen Joyce is now our media specialist for this school. I'll give you more updates next year. Anyways, this is Carolina Ramirez, saying have a great summer.